working on a Samsung refrigerator, French door. Wanted to show you guys basically what goes on behind that cover. Right now you're looking at the evaporator and I'm going to simulate what happens when warm air enters that, okay? The warm air will travel up and basically when your fan is running and your doors are closed, you will have warm air being sucked up from the drain tube, okay? And a lot of the icing up, if you look at them, how they are formed, they are formed in a circular pattern, some kind of clockwise, or from the left to up. And that's just the location of the fan as it pulls. You will never fix the problem by defrosting the drain or adding any whatever those stupid things are to the drain keeping the drain from freezing up is impossible unless you actually stop cold air and warm air meaning meaning if warm air can travel up into the drain tube where it is cold it will turn into frost eventually into ice it will freeze your drain tube your drain is no longer able to release the water. So now your drain pan has water. Your heater comes on, turns that water into steam, just like that. What happens to the warm air? It rises, okay? It goes to the top. As it cools, it turns into ice. What happens? Start hitting your fan, fan stops, fridge temperature is rising as well so the problem is the drain tube so we're going to be converting uh, i've been doing this now for years and never had a call back so i figure i share some of my knowledge for other people we're going to use that's uh lg that drain tube it has to be slightly modified to work, but it fits on perfectly. It does the job. I did not have my tripod, so I wasn't even going to make a video on this particular uh, repair. But I said, what the heck. I did slow the video down so that you could pretty much see what I'm doing. And that's part of Samsung's duck bill. Very ineffective. Uh, but we are going to use it in addition to that. Okay. So we're measuring right now, checking the fit. I'm using one hand. Shortly I'll be using both. I see so many people having issues with these units and once they're fixed, they're actually very good units. Uh, I do have a complete uh, fix coming up shortly. It's just so busy it's hard to get to it. but. I will show a complete uh, seal and basically a complete fix for the unit. And once it's fixed, it's never had a call back. They're actually very good unit, units once they're, once you can stop the air intrusion. So we're gonna measure and cut. Uh, we want the drain to be a little bit longer. Um, usually would cut there, but because Samsung is uh, 
shorter. It has a indent, not an indention. It's a something that ra raises up at the bottom of the drain pan to meet the drain tube. And to give you a rundown why they're so ineffective, Samsung's, they have so many holes and their idea for the holes are to allow water to pour, but it works in the opposite because warm air will rise. It always does. And what happens, you have cold and you have a fan that's always sucking. So what happens when the fridge is turned off or in a defrost? We have to cut this. We're going to cut it, I think. So when the fridge is in a defrost, you have warm air migrating through those holes up to the drain tube. And eventually, over time, not right away, sometimes it takes three months, two weeks. Less depends on how often you open the fridge. So... Eventually, the hole freezes over, and of course, now you can't drain the water. And of course, your drain pan gets filled up, heater heats it up, water has to go somewhere, it goes in your fresh fruit section, eventually fills over, goes onto your floor. It's a mess. And the ice maker... Uh, very similar. I actually have uh, videos on that showing the gaps in their ice room. I call the ice room where the ice bin and the ice maker is. It's called the ice room. So has a lot of gaps. And so we're trimming this. And the duck bill that Samsung has, uh, you know, when they're brand new, they work. But as soon as they get a little older and water gets between the opening of the duck bill, they become very ineffective and they they don't work. Uh, Whirlpool copied Samsung somewhat with their duck bill. And sure enough, uh, Whirlpool had a class action suit. So did Samsung. Uh, you have to control warm air going into your fridge. If you don't, you will have issues. It's simple as that. Uh, GE, Frigidaire, Whirlpool, all these older units, uh, manufacturers, they've been making refrigerators for a long time. And if you look at the back of an old refrigerator or even the older units, they have a sufficient, adequate drain tube. And that's what protects the unit. It protects the fridge interior, protects everything, and it keeps everything working the way it should. All right, guys, hopefully this helps. Uh, I will have more videos. And like I said, I'll be doing a complete full Samsung uh, sealing. And the ice room as well will be sealed. Uh, silicone. Oh, by the way, the drain tube, make sure you get it down into a nice little corner. Uh, you want to make sure that flapper has a tiny bit of room just to release water but those dimples on those drains are actually very effective they are a baffle and as the warm air rises it cools and it turns into water and drips back down so lg actually has excellent design on that and as the water drains it literally drips slowly and that water in the ridges actually stays cold and the warm air hits that water, it cools it and it falls back down. Nothing makes it into the refrigerator. Um, and then that flapper at the bottom keeps massive air from going in, but it has a flapper which allows water to come down and, you know, flow to the bottom of the drain pan, which is where it's supposed to be. So, excellent design on that. I am also working on another uh, design, maybe like a um, like the letter six, but they don't have a lot of room there, so maybe not.